Hi, I'm Meredith Plummer, and welcome to my Storytime Studio. Once upon a time, a sultan and a sultana lived on the coast of Africa. The sultan loved to lavish his sultana in beautiful gifts. But the sultana was languishing. Her once rosy cheeks became pale and she started to wither away to nothing but bone. The sultan called all his royal advisors and doctors to the palace, but they could not find a cure. However, they had heard about a poor fisherman in their village whose wife was thriving. So they sought him out, cornered him in a dark alley and asked what his secret was. Scared for his life, the poor fisherman only replied with a mumble, meat of the tongue. Confused but satisfied, the royal advisors returned to the palace and the sultan ordered his cooks to start making different kinds of tongue for the sultana to eat. And unfortunately, the sultana didn't get better. So this time the sultan went to speak to the fisherman himself. He suggested that the sultana and the poor fisherman's wife exchange places for one week. The poor fisherman's wife was ecstatic to live in luxury. And the poor fisherman, well, that was his sultan, what was he going to say? So, the switch happened. By the end of the week, though, the sultana's wife was gaining life again. Her cheeks were rosy, and she had put a little bit of meat on her bones. While the poor fisherman's wife had started to lose weight and lose color. When the sultana returned to the sultan, he asked, what was the difference? The poor fisherman who delivered the sultana back to the palace chuckled. Your highness didn't think I meant actual meat, did you? Meat of the tongue means conversation. Every night, me and my wife sit around the fire and we exchange stories and songs. Is that it? asked the sultan. He turned to his sultana. Is that what you need? Yes, said the sultana. I, I didn't know it until now, but yes. Wow, said the sultan. He promised he would try to change. And at first, it was awkward. Neither the sultan or the sultana had a lot of experience sharing their lives with each other. Not in that way. But over time, the two grew into the rhythm. And the sultana was happy once again. It's during our most difficult times in life that we need connection the most. My question for you is this. Has connection ever saved you, either physically, emotionally, or mentally? If so, share your story with a family member or a friend. Or, if you're brave enough, share on First Church Unitarian Church's Facebook page. Hashtag connection.